Hey love, so it's your girl April and today's makeup look is going to be using nothing but black owned makeup products, black owned makeup brands, whatever you want to call it, this is the look of this entire video. So I'm so happy and excited to do this video because I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that have been just featuring black owned makeup products, brands in their videos and I do really believe that we do need support as well as as a community as just as a whole. So I decided to join in on that and the product that I'm going to be featuring in this is the Mon products, which I do have some eyeshadow sticks, some of their pressed powder, as well as that I will be featuring some Sasha products. Now, I do have the older Sasha products, which was sent to me a few years ago, some years ago on one of my prior channels. But you know what's really great about their products? They really don't go bad. Like seriously, I guess eyeshadow never goes bad, but their camouflage foundation along with their cream foundation actually still smells really great and has not gone bad. So I will be featuring a lot of their products in this video. So let me just show you beforehand. Um, this is one of the Sasha and this is basically I think this is like one of their originals so this is their cream foundation and it's a really thick foundation which really works really well it does give full coverage and this is the camouflage foundation by Sasha which was also sent to me many years ago and of course I do have a lot of it left because I very rarely used it and it actually is in really really good mint condition so I will be using that in the video along with one of their original blushes so the package has changed significantly for Sasha but it's still actually the same formula and I'm absolutely in heaven because I get to use a lot of these products so some things I didn't have like highlights or what have you but I did use this eyeshadow by Sasha which is in color skin and it kind of is like a very light frost but it works really well as a highlight for under brows as well as for under eyes so you will see me use and substitute a lot of different products that I don't have on hand especially like with the bronzer I did use the eye shadow by Sasha and this is their almond pearl quad along with that I'm going to be using some of my fashion fair products as a lot of the black ups cosmetics that were sent to me last year so I do use those as well in the video so I mainly have a lot of products the only thing that I was missing out on was the mascara which you know what really no big deal because I have one individuals that I keep on for a few weeks so yes I was able to not even worry about the mascara portion and the lipstick brand that I'm going to be using is the lips extreme and this is my collection and of course I am African American so I will be using my Gemini lipstick which is one of those nude colors along with a lip liner from Black Ops Cosmetics to substitute and kind of blend it in. Now the one thing that I was really hesitant about is like oh my god I don't have a facial primer I don't have any kind of skin primer but I did receive oh my god like so long ago this was like seven months ago from Doll Face Organic Skin Care this is a black owned business and they do own many very organic skincare products and I will post the information below for you guys so that you can check them out but there is also a coupon code which you can get 10% off and this one is muffin 10 and I'll post that below for you guys but she does have a lot of great skincare products and I was so happy and excited because I have been using them but not really been using them so I will be using her rose toner in this video. It actually has real roses in it, which I love. Along with that, as, as a facial primer and moisturizer, I'm going to be using her Shine Bright Elixir. So I'll also be using that. These other products are more or less like cleansers and body oils. So really nothing that I won't be using. But thank God this did come in handy. And the products do work really, really well. So I will post the information below so that you can get 10% off. As well as support black-owned um, businesses. So yes, you guys, really excited excited to do this video and as for the hair that I'm wearing this is a black owned or black created wig which was created by me and this is hair from Aliexpress of course and I did bleach not even bleach excuse me I did dye it using cream of nature's hair dye um, in ginger blonde I think it is so that is how I achieved this color in this particular virgin hair wig so yes you guys I hope you stay tuned for the video stay diva and delicious and I'll catch you guys on the next one and all the information will be posted for you girls below Hey 
Hey love, so it's time for this makeup tutorial and the first thing I'm going to be using is my Doll Face Organic Skin Care. This is the Rose Toner Water. I love any type of rose water so I did use that to hydrate and moisturize my face. And I'm also going to be using the Shine Bright Elixir as well as that as I did mention this is a black owned makeup or skincare product line. Please excuse my voice, it's a little raspy right now. I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm kind of like woke up like this but anyway onto my brows I'm going to attempt to use the black ups cosmetics um, eyebrow definer or eyebrow uh, pencil first of all it is so hard to do my brows with anything else other than what I'm used to using so I had to do some of it off camera and it's still not the way I wanted it but you know what it is what it is now just to highlight under my brows I'm going to be using the Black Ups Cosmetics Contour Stick and I did use the lightest shade. Now like I said everything is black owned makeup brand and some of the stuff that I'm using I really don't use on a normal basis like the highlighting makeup for my underbrow or the brow pencil for my brows. I basically um, I normally use like Anastasia or CoverGirl so this time around it's a little bit different just to even my eyelids out and also as for a transition color I'm going to be using my Iman pressed powder and I love this stuff I use this like every day now for a transition color it is like the best transition color now on to highlight underneath my eyebrows I'm going to be using the Sasha Cosmetics eyeshadow in the color called skin this is more or less like a matte color eyeshadow which is great you will see that I basically use this eyeshadow today for everything in this video because you know I didn't have certain things now onto the eyeshadow portion I'm going to go into the black Cups cosmetics this is their five color um, palette and I'm just going to use this morphe brush and sweep that back and forth across my lips I'm gonna just give myself a kind of like a neutral eye look because of the colors I could have used some other colors like some more intense but you know what I went for these colors I wanted to make it easy and simple for me and you who's watching now onto the eyeshadow quad by Sasha this is the almond pearl and I did go back into the Iman just to kind of like spruce up my transition color and to deepen my crease I'm going to go back into the black ups cosmetic eyeshadow palette. I will list everything that I'm using below in case you cannot understand me but I think I need to go downstairs and drink some tea because seriously I really woke up like this like I took a nap and I woke up like this so I don't know I think when you be yelling at your kids sometimes this is the outcome but anyway yes I'm gonna take that dark color that's in the black Ops cosmetic shadow and place that in my crease and I'm just going to go back and forth and like windshield wipe emotions like I said this is going to be a neutral or yeah a neutral eye look you know now I am using a highlight um, for my eyeshadow. This is like a beautiful kind of golden color and it's by Black Ops. I don't really use it often because it doesn't really show up like that so I don't really use it a lot. And to darken my eyes, I'm going to be using the Iman Shadow Pencil. <coughs> That's in the color black. And also, I'm also going to be using my... Sasha Cosmetics foundation <laughs> onto my face and this let me tell you guys I had this foundation this cream foundation for a minute like when I say a minute like oh my god for like seven years I barely well I did use it um the other one that you're gonna see me use which is the camouflage cream foundation I barely used that which is this one right here um, I barely used it because they sent me like a bunch of them but it's so great that they didn't go bad they didn't start smelling you know like makeup will start smelling after a while this stuff still works so good so after this video I just kept using it because I really did like the outcome um, it kind of reminds me a lot of this other foundation that I like to use which is a lot more pricier and you guys know I loved like my um, uh, Too Faced foundation but it didn't seem to work anymore. I just have an issue with foundation. It'll work for a while and then it'll stop. So underneath my eyelids, I'm using the 
um, Radiance Concealer by Black Ops Cosmetics. And it comes in like a twisty pencil. And just to make it a little bit bright, I'm going to go back into their dual contour and highlight stick. And I'm just going to go in with my sponge because I have used this stuff a lot in the past. So I really didn't have a lot to twist out. So I had to basically kind of like dig it out with the sponge. So it's still a really great consistency, but for the price mark, it's a little bit expensive. Now, I'm also using my Fashion Fair foundation stick, and this is in the color Espresso, and I've also had this for a long time as well, like for a long time, probably like seven years, I had like a bunch of them that were sent to me by Fashion Fair, a lot of them in all different shades, and some of them weren't my shades, um, so I do use them as like contour sticks um and things like that i gave a lot of them away but they didn't go bad either i guess if you just keep them so tight they won't go bad but that's a great thing now to contour my nose i'm going to be using that dark brown in the black ups cosmetics eyeshadow palette you got to use what you have if it works then use it you know what i mean just use it i just think that makeup is makeup they'll use you you know what i'm saying like bronzer things like that it's all made with the same product we just put a different label on them so I used what I had and as you see I'm going to contour out my face with that dark brown and I'm going to use that Sasha eyeshadow which I use for my brow. I'm going to use that skin color because it's like a matte color. I'm going to use it to set my under eye highlight and let me tell you guys it worked out amazing. It worked and last all day long. My daughter Tati was like oh you look so bronze. So using stuff that wasn't really meant for the purpose like for your face kind of gave me like a really great makeup look um and like I said this is the eyeshadow that I'm using and I just used it to set my face and kind of like mattify it and it worked out perfectly so I guess if I was stranded somewhere on like an island god forbid um and I didn't have certain things I would just use what I have but I guess if I was stranded on an island I wouldn't really care how my makeup looked so into this old quad by Sasha Cosmetics which is the almond pearl I'm going to use that to basically highlight or kind of like give my under eyes some depth which is awesome as well as that dark brown like I'm going to use everything I have for all different types of purposes in this video it all works out and all works out just as good you know what I mean you don't have to buy all these different products for face you know what I mean you can use eyeshadow for blush you can use blush for eyeshadow it all works out the same it's all makeup and as you can see I'm feeling myself now back into that skin as you can see now I'm using it as its sole purpose which is an eyeshadow and I am listening to some Mary J Blige in this video now this dark blue I didn't have any mascara for my eyes unfortunately so I just kind of thought about something real quick took my brush and it did make my lashes look darker so like I said you use what you have okay and your makeup look will come together now back into the Iman this is the different compact powder and I'm just gonna set my face with this as you see the look is coming all together you would never be able to tell I used what for what and now I'm gonna bronze myself out as you can see here hey it's all the same stuff in all honesty it's all the same stuff Now I'm going to also go back into that highlight which I said was golden and I'm going to attempt to highlight under my eyelids. As you can see it's more like a golden color. It's not really a color that I would use for a highlight because it kind of makes me turn kind of like yellowish but for the video it served the purpose you know. I don't think I would use this color every day but for the video it served the purpose. I did give myself a highlight. And yes I'm about to use my own lipstick. And of course it is black owned but first I'm going to line my lips with this dark brown pencil and this was the eyebrow pencil that I made I used for my eyebrows but hey it's all the same and I'm going to be using my Gemini color which is more or less a nude it gave me like this perfect color on top of a dark brown and like I said my look is coming together and just to chisel out them cheeks. I'm going to use my Sasha Cosmetics blush. This is more or less like a orangey color. I did put a little bit too much on so I'm going to dust some of it off but it's still a really pretty color. It gives me like a kind of like sun kiss glow kind of like you know you know. Now on to the hair. This is a wig that I made using hair from AliExpress and it is black made okay. 
by me. And I'm just going to situate my hair. And yes, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll post all the products that I use below so that you can check it out. The concealer or the foundation that I'm using is by Black Ops Cosmetics, of course. And I'm going to also be using my topic here for the body. So on that note, enjoy. If you want a wig made, you can always hit me up at goingwiththewindwigs at gmail.com or you can check my website out which is goingwiththewindwigs.webby.com and yeah stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe share this video with friends family and even people you don't like like i always say and i'll catch you guys on the next video bye